4 was a lot better than the ending of episode 5. Still a good game? Very good game. Everyone should get it. I'm probably going to get all of them if they come out with more. Once I finish Castlevania and kill Dracula again, I'll uh, trade up with you. Yep. Trauma Center, I actually uh, I beat that hard, hard, hard mission. You haven't beat the game, though, have you? Nope. And then there was a harder mission, and then a harder mission, and a harder mission. I just brute forced my way, but I'm not on a mission. Uh, again, that's too hard. Uh-huh. I can't play it on the train because it shakes. <laughs> Someone should have thought of that when they made the DS. You can't play it on anything. You can't play it in a car. If you need precision for a game like Trauma Center with the stylus, can't play it in a car, can't play it in a train, maybe a plane with no turbulence, but if it shakes, you can't play Huh? I don't think they were thinking specifically of your commute when they made that game. But, I mean, they had there's a picture on the Nintendo DS website of a kid in the subway playing. Yeah, because you can play every other game that way. Yeah, you can play a lot of games that way. You, you just can't play... play uh, you can play Phoenix Wright easily. Yeah? Just not Trauma Center. So we picked up uh, Siphon Filter and Gran Turismo 2 for our modded PS1 that, until now, Shh, had only... it's modded. Fine, it's Japanese. There you go. But we can play English games. Huh? <laughs> oh, I wonder why. It has only ever played Dance Dance Revolution. So when we went to the GameStop and we saw the PS1 games were like two bucks, we figured might as well play those games you never played, right? Yeah, yep. And I learned that, well, I guess I remembered that the PlayStation 1's graphics are kind of crappy. If you play it with an emulator, they can improve. It improves the but graphics. But we're not. We're playing it with. I don't a PS1. remember if you play a PS1 game and a PS2. Does it improve the graphics? I don't think so. I heard maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Maybe that's one of those things that Sony lied about and then changed up. You know. Yeah, later I never on. heard anything about it. So. Yeah. 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 So uh, Siphon Filter actually, I play the game and I can tell it's a good game. But it makes you really realize how far games have come. Yeah. The control of the game is is painful. Like, to tw- switch weapons, you hold select, and you do LR and L2. Ah. Or you can just push select to cycle through. Uh, see, that's the one thing I really like about the GameCube, is that it's so much more intuitive, that kind of control. I mean, all PlayStation games, because there's so many buttons, and they're not A, B, X, Y, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're... Shape, 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 shape. I guess if you get used to the shape, 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 shape. But yeah, but it's also hard that Japanese games and English games reverse the function of X and O. Uh, I think in Gran Turismo 2, X and O do the same thing, and Square is go back. Yeah. See, that's the thing. There's no consistency. In every Nintendo game ever, A is select and B is go back. Yeah, that, that's the way it is. Plus, I learned that I can't play driving games without a wheel. You just suck. I, I played it just fine. Because I don't like driving games without the wheel. It doesn't seem... It's not a driving game anymore. It's a manipulate the analog stick precisely game. Yeah, what do you think? Of, uh, with the wheel, it's the same thing, only instead of a stick, you've got a wheel. Yeah, which makes it driving. No, uh, one of those bugs you said only shows up in my room is in your room. Yeah, there's more of them in your room, total. Yeah, well, there aren't, haven't been any in my room for weeks, so... Uh, I'll put it in your room, then. That'll even things out. That's no good. That's definitely not good. Yeah. So, uh, what other games? So, you haven't been playing so many games. We're busy doing, you know, life. I'm playing plenty of games, just playing the same games a lot. Yeah. I uh, mean, I started playing because I actually, it's my secret shame, I never played uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. So, I'm playing through it now, but I haven't played it in like two weeks because I've been busy. Yeah. I'm playing Resident Evil 1, but I haven't played that in a while because the DS games kind of got me. And as yeah. soon as Mario Kart comes out, every other game is just going to be like, play me, play me, play me. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Mario Kart is here. I, mean, I played my GBA Mario Kart to rebuild my skills. Uh, I still got it. I imagine the game will be different enough to where uh, your skills won't carry over so much. Uh, and, uh, I, I played it. I played Mario Kart DS at the Digital Life Show. Yeah. And my skills carry over quite well. You're all in trouble. We'll see. We'll see. It, it, the one thing I don't know is that in Mario Kart Game Boy, Super Circuit, if your racing is perfect, items can't bother you. Even the spike shell will just go right behind you, and if you don't slow down, you stay at top speed, the spike shell will not get you. I don't know if that's the case in Mario Kart DS. The spike shell might get you no matter what, because that's the way it is. That's what, In N64 and Double Dash, the, the items and luck matter a lot more than r- pure yeah. racing. Honestly, I didn't like Double Dash. 
I didn't like it so much. Like the two-player dash. I mean, I'm not one to call things Nintendo does gimmicky because I like most of the things they do. But the two guys in one car thing was real gimmicky because it always ended up just being the one guy who's good drives and the friend who's not so good at the game just sits there with the items and goes L R L R L R L R. Well, the thing is, is that you're supposed. To, it was up to the other person to give you this boost by shifting the weight. Yeah, but, but that, that was eh, nah. That was didn't. pretty much just. Brain dead, and if you couldn't, it was such a basic thing to do properly. That I, you could play the game where you just controlled, you know, everything. But then switching the drivers was kind of yeah. I do like the the not having the, you can actually change carts, like there's different carts, and the DS one has that where you pick a person, you pick a cart. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, or at least that's what it looked like to me. Can't you know? But yeah, that's good because then I'll pick Luigi and I'll pick the standard Luigi cart and I'll I'll rock everybody. Of course, no game has ever really surpassed that wonderful level of ice hockey for the original NES. Ah, uh, I will A-smash, and if I A-smash enough, you will be put in the penalty box, and not me. That game is probably one of my favorite multiplayer games ever. Dude, they need to make an online version of ice hockey. Ah, we could make it. We could, actually. I guess if you use emulators, they play over on the internet, but... Kind of piss poorly. That's because what they do is instead of having like a ROM and synchronizing it, what they do is they just send the controls that you push over the network. Yep, and you each run your own local copy of the ROM. So if anything gets out of whack, the whole thing is just crazy and broken and you're done. Yep. And they don't use the TCP IP and they don't, you know, set the timings perfectly. Yep. And And normally when we talk about a game that we play multiplayer... Both of us will contend that we're the best ever, I'm or the best there'll ever. be some sort of argument. But at ice hockey, we've pretty much fought each other to a dead stalemate. I'm the best ever. I haven't lost in a long time. We haven't played in a long time, and I won the last time we you played. You didn't win the last time I we most played. Defin- no, you didn't. <laughs> Not at all. I'll, I'll pull some witnesses. The next time we play, we'll have to have some certified witnesses sitting there. You're going to have to start keeping score on like a website? I mean, yeah, we should. For- Plus, you can't deny... Uh, Air hockey at the shore. Hey, air hockey, uh, I pooned. Um, um, do I need to remind you how many games I won and how many games you won during the week at Wildwood? Hey, I won, and then uh, you waited until I was tired from eating what? funnel cake, what? and that, then you what? wanted what? to play some more. And then we played. Uh, the and next then whenever day. I wanted to play because I was ready to win, you were like, "No." And then you played later when That's you were ready absolute, to win. Absolutely. Not only is that not true. That's true. I got witnesses. Yeah. I got Greg, or not Greg, God, I haven't even, Greg's dead as far as I'm concerned. I got Pete. He had a sign that said he wasn't dead. Yeah, but I haven't seen him or talked to him, and I've messaged him a couple times, and he never answers me. Mm. Maybe he's pretending to be dead, like a possum. Ah. But I got Pete, I got uh, Katsu, I got some Alex, I got some Scott Johnson. You can't deny Scott Johnson's uh, witnessing ability. I can deny that if I bribe him, he'll change his mind. See, he wouldn't take a bribe for something like that. Yeah, he would. No, not for something like that, because he'd say, first he'd take the bribe. Then, when someone asked him, he'd say, yeah, Scott totally bribed me to say that uh, he was the best. So, yeah, Scott was the best. But then why would he lie and say you win at air hockey unless you bribed him? Because I do win at air hockey. (laughs) Or you just bribe Scott Johnson to say so and then say something like that, and then... You can't bribe Scott Johnson. (laughs) He's like a rock. That's what someone who bribes him says. (laughs) All right, what about uh, Pete and Alex? And Dawn. Dawn wasn't even paying attention, as far as I know. No, Dawn was there. I don't think she was noticing our air hockey scores. Only I was. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway. I think we're done. Yeah. So uh, we were thinking of adding a bit to the show. Oh, oh, where we tell a story. Where we tell a story. Because we realized that... In all the years in college, we told a lot of funny stories, and all of us had a bunch of good stories, and some of them were uproariously hilarious. But we could only ever tell them once, unless we were, uh... Made new friends. Yeah, and whenever a new friend joined the group... We told all the stories... tell all the stories again. Immediately. <laughs> and, uh, now we got a whole bunch of new friends, or at least people. People, podcast listeners. Yeah. So, uh, we're, we're thinking of, we might start telling some stories. You should tell my... What, how much minutes did we go so far? Uh, it's been 40 minutes, so we, if we tell a story, it'll be a quick one. And you already told your diarrhea story. Does that count? That was, that was so a story. Recent. You used up all of our leader time to tell us about how you had diarrhea this morning. I'm sure everyone's going to love that. Hey, it could be a worse story, Mr. 30 Bargles. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. That's our story, then, since this is the... Uh, well, you can tell the story tomorrow. 
I'll fin- uh, you got a story, so I'll get a story. This will yeah. be our uh, daily sig.